Hello, welcome to the Sim Racing Corner. Today we're in the Sim Rig with a drive and talk for the 3D Wrap Nagasa Pro pedal set. I've set up a couple of cameras so you can see uh, the front of the pedals and the rear of the pedals as they do have a fancy mechanism which um, is uh, very interesting. You can see it there guys in the left hand uh, picture there. Um, so I've had this pedal set mounted to the Sim Rig for just over a week and I have put quite a lot of hours on this pedal set now um, in a bunch of different games so um, I'm pretty familiar with them but um, I haven't done much in the way of adjustments yet there's a lot more to this pedal set which I haven't got into yet so my experience so far is out of the box stock pedal sets uh, with no adjustments and pretty much just mounting them and getting on with the job so yeah do understand there's a lot more to this pedal set than even I have um, tested so far but that will come out in the main review so do understand this is early impressions you know a fair impression of it I would say because I have put plenty of hours into it so let's get on track and I'll give you uh, my um, you know what it's been like to use for the first uh, week okay the interesting thing about this pedal set is the cam system on the throttle and the clutch pedal. It's um, different from anything out there. It is completely unique. Let's get into the right gear, guys. And um, it's there, they've designed this pedal set, because I have spoken to 3D Rap about this, to emulate the feel of real racing pedals. Um, we're talking about the brake in the moment, but I think the interesting thing, because it's the most elaborate um, part of the pedal set, is the, the throttle and the clutch. You can see that little cam popping up uh, when I push on the pedal. It's providing um, a sensation from the pedal, which is, um, I'll say it is a bit different from um, just a pedal which would have a spring on the back, but I wouldn't say it's dramatically different. It's just doing it differently. You know, it's doing it in its own way, and there is a subtle difference, because since we do, let me just stop that for the moment, just have a look at that, you can see the movement. And you can see there's that, that, that piece that pops up, um, just behind the pedal, that's the cam, and that's pushing against the bearing at the back, which is spring loaded, and um, it's providing this kind of sensation, um, you know, this kind of uh, path of this gradual feel of the, of the tension and as it pushes it through. So, I'm going to show you this because I think this is really useful. So, in the clutch, uh, in the throttle, this is the cam, that's what's moving as it pushes against that bearing and it's providing this resistance. And it kind of you can see there's a as it's sort of like as it's shaped and that provides this feel from the pedal. On the clutch it's slightly different. It's the same type of cam but if I put it against that one you can see it's a different shape and that provides stronger tension as I push into it and it does provide a different kind of feel of um, of, of the pedal as well because as it moves it's, 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 it's a lot tighter, you feel a lot more um, resistance and then as the clutch breaks free as it would in the real uh, clutch it kind of breaks free there so it kind of softens up so you can feel the resistance sort of breaking off there as it builds up builds up and then is it's kind of just basically just soft at that point from that point there um, the throttle was slightly doing the same thing but it's slightly different it is much more of a kind of linear effect as it builds up and right at the end you can feel it does kind of again there's a it, it does lighten off right at the end at this point here so yeah it does give it a particular sensation to it and because you have these moving parts which are connected um, I wouldn't say it's a it's friction but you are getting a texture to the pedal which um, I kind of like it does give it you know the pedal somewhat of a more mechanical feel like there's stuff behind it rather than just being a basic spring but I will say I think it's worth mentioning that it's not dramatically different from say my Houston Fell Pro pedals the sensation and that just uses the spring behind the, the throttle you know but it's, it, you know I, I'd say really what 3D Rap are doing here is just um, just they're just doing something different rather than it being dramatically you know the sensation being massively different it's just a different way of doing it rather than anything else you might like the look of it it's certainly durable the, the way they've done it uh, it's using bearings and, um, and and springs it's something which does look uh, to me looks very very well made in as much as um, you know it's going to last it's going to have no you know problems with this with the way it works uh, so I, I do like the look of it for you know just I think it's going to be a robust pedal set in that sense we'll talk about the uh, load cell break in a moment because I know that's obviously went covered that yet but I think that's obviously worth talking about as well but there you go just the last look at those cams and I do want to show you these um, alternative ones because 3D Wrap sell these other ones and let me just get uh, the correct one first so this is an alternative clutch one 
and uh, you can buy this separately and this gives it a different feel again so let me just put that up against there and line it up it's in the packet so you're gonna have to um, let, let me take out the packet I think that's a better way to do it guys since I obviously haven't used these yet so I can't tell you what these are like so this is the original one which you'll get in your pedal okay so and this is an alternative one if we line it up you can see there is a different shape to it and that will change the feel of the the clutch I think this will give it um, a different sensation I think um, it's supposed to be I don't know what it'll feel like but it'll give it a different sensation I quite like the clutch as it is but the one I'm more interested in I must admit Let's get uh, the throttle here. Is this one? So this is a replacement throttle one. And I wouldn't mind a little bit more tension from the throttle. I must admit, I wouldn't say it's like particularly strong um, spring tension. It's okay, but I wouldn't mind a little bit more. And I'm hoping actually this this one might just give it a slightly more you know a bit more tension it might be pushing a bit more on the bearing at the back the spring uh, where it's uh, spring loaded because it is a bit longer then hopefully it kind of enhances the feel of the uh, tension a bit more i would like that so next i want to talk about the brake guys because that uses a load cell and also look at this how little movement there is it's a very stiff pedal very stiff using these elastomers let me just show you this as well um, so that is the actual tensioner that's what's providing the resistance behind the load cell and um, this is a replacement for the one that's already in there and just look at the back you can see it's quite filled in um, it is very stiff but that's the shape of that one and this is another one it comes with this is another spare but you can see just look at them two together that's a hollowed out and that will be softer and I wouldn't mind testing this out because I do find it to be quite stiff and uh, not a lot of travel I wouldn't mind a little bit more uh, personally I find for trail braking I want a bit more movement a bit more softness at the beginning of the travel where here it's very stiff and it's a uh, um, there's not a ton of movement there it's all like there's movement movement you can feel it and then kind of a brick wall at that point there and you're just using the weight of your you know the, the weight that you feel from your leg and that pressure the tension to break beyond that point that's how you're judging your braking because you're not feeling any movement of the pedal um yeah so i wouldn't mind testing that see if we can soften it up however let me just get back on track again let me just restart this apparently according to an article i read online recently as i did a little bit of research on this about um brake pedals and um you know Brake, stiff brake pedals are affected. I was looking, you know, for a reason why a stiff brake pedal might be an advantage, and apparently it's meant to be an advantage um, because the shorter travel, you're going to be on the brakes quicker, and that apparently I haven't tested this theory. I need to do some, uh, you know, real tests to actually work this one out and uh, do some hot laps to, um, you know, to clarify this to, you know, confirm this is a real thing that. Um, it should enable you to brake later because if you're on the brakes quicker, there's there's less travel on that brake pedal. And if you can brake later and carry more speed out of that corner and still keep under control, you're going to have faster lap times. And um, the article was showing um, the, the was showing some tests, and the difference between lap to lap was small. We're talking about margins, you know, like you know hundreds of a second, you know, small real small margins. But um, obviously, in a racing, competitive racing, it's all about small margins. And um, over the course of several laps, if that is an advantage, you're going to be quicker overall. You're going to, you know, have a, put some distance between you and your opponents if, if that's the case. So it is an interesting, um, you know, theory that, you know, uh, a stiffer brake pedal is going to be an advantage over a softer brake pedal. Does that relate in sim racing? I don't know, but the article was written by a company uh, which was selling sim racing pedals, and they were talking about that, you know. So, you know, so um, and they did demonstrate it with some, you know, graphs, etc., and all that sort of stuff. So, um, it looks interesting, and potentially maybe there's a thing in it, guys. Uh, maybe you can tell me as well if you believe that's the case as well. But so, regardless of my preference of um, the feel of the brake pedal. I can't complain about the, perform the performance of that brake of that load cell because it's doing just fine. Um, as soon as I got this pedal set mounted and got on track, I was hitting my marks immediately. They're very comfortable to use. Um, yeah, they feel solid. They are reliable, and um, 
I can trust them. So I'm driving with a lot of confidence with this pedal set. Um, I'm finding you know no issues whatsoever. I mean, ignore the driving, you know what, what's going on the track because you know clearly I'm not really concentrating too much on the track. I'm just trying to uh, keep this thing going, guys, for you. But um, yeah, certainly um, I'm not. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not really driving particularly great because I'm trying to chat chat in this video. But um, as a pedal set, they are solid. They are reliable, um, and um, yeah, they are doing what they need to do. Um, very much like any decent set of pedals, I will admit. Um, so yeah, you know, do you need to spend an awful lot of money for um, a pedal set that's going to actually perform? Um, these days, you don't. Any decent pedal set with a load cell, and I could say, you know, the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals, Fanatec CSL pedals, and the Moza um, SRP pedals. These are pedal sets I, the most recent pedal sets I've reviewed on the channel. And I have to say, I got on with all of them. They feel different under your feet, nothing feels the same. But, um, you know, technically, they all did just as well as each other, as this, this pedal set will do just as well as those pedal sets. I don't think, I can't really, you know, no, I, I can't say I've noticed an advantage. The only difference is, guys, there's more adjustments. When you spend more money on a high-end pet set of pedals, set of pedals, they do have more adjustment points. And that does, that in itself is an advantage. You can get them in a comfortable position more easily. Um, that is a thing. And um, there's also more um, adjust, adjustment points on this pedal set over a cheaper pedal set, so you can change the feel, the sensation of the pedals. That's what you do get with it. But technically, they're going to do the same job. Uh, but yeah, I like this pedal set. I'd say um, I'd be quite happy to continue this with this pedal set as my main pedal set in the future. Um, yeah, I'm happy enough to say that they are doing a nice enough job where I'd be happy to continue using them. Uh, though I have to say um, I did want to bring this uh, drive and talk out now as this pedal set is coming off the rig because I do have something else I need to test um, before I get around to making the proper full review for this pedal set. So. You know, these driving talks are a little bit of a mishmash of just kind of things off the top of my head, very scrappy. So do accept it, it's not really a great review. Early impressions are, you know, whether or not something is doing the job as intended and are there any sort of like major issues, anything you need to be aware of. And I'd say no, there isn't. This is, you know, they're, they are doing just fine. So do understand there's a lot more to cover on this pedal set. There's a lot more adjustment points on this pedal set that I have not done. You know, as I said earlier, guys, you know, I, I put them together out of the box, planted them on the sim rig and got on with them and, and that's it. So, yeah, there's certain things I haven't tried with them. Uh, so maybe, you know, I'm going to fall in love with this pedal set more than I currently do because I find them to be, you know, perfectly adequate, perfectly fine. But, you know, um, I also have this opinion that I'm having, you know, I could just whack on the, um, say, the, the um, CSL pedals the um, CSL pedals and I'd be perfectly happy with them as well. So yeah, do understand, you know, spending a ton of money on pedal sets, sometimes it's more to do with the look, maybe the robustness of the pedal set as well, and some of the adjustment points, which do, yeah, in fairness, do give an advantage to uh, a more expensive pedal set. But ultimately, yeah, you don't need to spend a ton of money, but you know, that's not a, you know, that's not me saying don't get this pedal set. That's just a general kind of, um, uh, my, my general opinion of what I know after using a bunch of pedal sets now over the years. Uh, but yeah, doing just fine. Um, a review will come out um, as soon as I can get around to it, guys. But it's going to be a while, but I wanted to get a drive and talk out there just to give you you know, some sense of what this pedal set's been like to use. Um, so if you are interested in this pedal set, obviously look at other reviews out there and, you know, as well. Uh, get some ideas, you know, get some kind of feedback from those, uh, from those reviews if you're doing your research. Uh, but yeah, so far, I'm very satisfied and they look nice. I, I love the... Um, the carbon fiber pedal faces, they're pretty cool. And um, overall, they're feeling, you know, pretty decent. So um, I ha I'm, I'm happy with them so far, but uh, we'll get down to um, yeah, more detail in the main review. So there you go, that's it for this drive and talk. And again, I have to say, I must apologize for these drive and talks. They're a bit all over the place. Uh, so yeah, do accept it for what they are. You know, they're tough to do, but um, I, I try and do them just to uh, get better at them. And I think they are kind of, you know, they're, they're something. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, yeah, take it easy and uh, happy simming and bye-bye for now.